Hello, my name is Alex Vorm and this is Survival in Denmark. Many people have been stranded here without the proper knowledge about survival. I have come here to show you how to survive in one of the most hostile environments known to man. As you can see, Denmark is a complete wasteland. There is absolutely no intelligent life here. You can just see there is no people at all. Oh, look, look, look. You can find these refrigerators everywhere in Denmark. It's so amazing that people just leave these things all by themselves. Let's see if there's something in them. Oh my god! Look at this! Excellent source of nutrition. You can just find these everywhere. It's so amazing. Denmark is just the only place where you can find these things. Oh my god. It tastes like... It tastes like a mix of guts and camel urine. Ugh. Beers like this are scattered in refrigerators all over Denmark, so when you find one, be aware if it's called Carlsberg. That means it is poisonous and it will kill you. No matter what you do, you always gotta look out for proteins at all the times. Just keep making decisions and keep moving. It's so important. Always keep a lookout for proteins as they're essential in every survival situation. Not too long ago, a man was stranded here and forgot to look out for proteins. He saw a picture of Sidney Lee and lacking the energy to process the image, he committed suicide. Even though the people here look quite civilized, don't be fooled. They're absolutely stupid. You can't talk to them at all. Coming up next on Alex vs Wild. Whoa, 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 stop. Mein Name ist Alex Wurm und ich bin hier Ihnen beizubringen, wie man in Dänemark überleben. Oh, 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 stop. This is, this is what's called a crossing. You gotta be absolutely careful with this, even though it might look harmless, you can be run over at any moment. So just take it easy. These crossings can be highly devious as you never know when a vehicle might come by. One of the main things to remember is never camp in the middle of a crossing. One of my colleagues tried that in Jutland on one of his trips. The next day he had mysteriously disappeared. Look, we're now at top the Gorse Pass. This is absolutely deserted for intelligent people as you can see. There are absolutely no intelligent people. Don't be fooled by that man driving the car. He's not intelligent either. Barely clever enough to drive. Oh, look, 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 look. Look at that. This is Snickers. These are packed with proteins. In fact, a guy has survived an entire week just on Snickers. Unfortunately, he then turned into a white skinny guy. I'll try, I'll try this. Oh, it's horrible. It's like horse semen. Oh, but it's good. It's good for your for your health. Oh, ah. Oh, I'll keep going. Coming up next on Alex vs Wild. When we return, I stand toe to toe with Denmark's most dangerous obstacle: the curve. In Denmark, the weather is worse than a fuck your mother's and father's. So, therefore, I'll now have to find a shelter. This bus stop will make a perfect shelter in this type of situation. It has a roof, it's sheltered for the rain, and it's relatively warm. So, and it has a bench. It's perfect. Well, Good night.
Ugh. This is the most horrible night ever. I'm seriously, I've never experienced anything like this. It's hot as a rock, I cannot sleep at all. Ugh. I'll try. Good night. My experiences here in Denmark has been rich, but my visit is now over. I feel ready to come with a conclusion. This has been such an amazing journey. I have I love Denmark, but it's gonna be so good to get back to my family, to get home and to get back to civilized life. Goodbye to you all. It was a pleasure working for you.